Hi, this is Mike Stevenson. Um, we're going to do a little demo here for um, inclusion in the integration playbook. Um, this demo is going to talk about message correlation with logic apps. So hopefully at this point you're reading an article that we've got in the playbook. And um, I just wanted to kind of do a video to show how this, this pattern works. So on the diagram here you can see I've got a, um, a logic app where I'm going to use Postman to activate it, making an HTTP call to it. The logic app's then going to send a message to service bus. A background process is going to process that message, which I'm actually going to just use a logic app to simulate that. And it'll send a message to a response queue. And that message will be routed back to the original um, logic app instance that sent the message. And we'll do that by using the, um, the session IDs on queues. And then Postman will get the response message from our backend service. So. To do, let's have a quick look um, in Azure and see what we've got here then. So first off, we've got um, we've got to save this, which is always important. So let's have a quick look at um, what we've got here. So we've got this uh, logic app here called Stub Async Service. That's going to simulate the background process. And this is a pretty, pretty straightforward logic app where we're going to basically um, receive a message from service bus queues. So here we've got a, a queue called Q2. We're going to check every 30 seconds for messages. And all we're going to do is initialize a, um, a variable, which is going to have a dummy response message, just saying thank you for, thank you the backend system received your message. And we're going to pop that, that message as the response message onto the response queue. And if you note that here, we're going to, the response queue is called Q3, and we're going to set the session ID to be the property called reply to session ID from the original request message. So that'll basically on our diagram, that'll do this bit down the bottom down here. So next up, we'll, we'll have a look at the, um, the main processing orchestration, which I've called test correlation. So here we're going to have a look in the, um, the main orchestration, which is going to represent the, this one at the top, the main logic app, sorry. And um, we're going to receive a message here, the typical um, request action. We're then going to um, initialize a variable, which is going to be used as the response message. Initially, it's going to say nothing, and that'll be the response that'll be sent back to Postman. We're then going to initialize a variable that will be used for the session ID. So here I'm just going to use the GUID expression and get a unique ID per logic app instance. I'm then going to um, use the service bus send shape and I'm going to send a message to Q2. I'm going to specify the body that came in from Postman is going to be the, the content that we send to the queue. And I'm going to, the, the important bit here to note is the reply to session ID is going to be the session ID we've created in that variable. That'll send a message to service bus and, and trigger the back end process. We're, um, we're then going to basically, we, we need to then wait for the response to come back. Now there's an interesting thing here, we don't know how long this response is going to take to come back. So I think this is probably um, the harder part of this pattern. So we're going to use a variable called message received. And um, I'm going to basically do a loop until I receive the message. And we're then going to use the get messages from Q, where we're going to pull on Q3. We're going to get one message at a time, and we're going to listen on on the session ID that we've set up. Because that receives multiple messages back, we we get the the painful thing of having to have a loop here, where even though we're only going to actually get one message back, but either way, um, once we get a message, we'll then complete the message on the queue by um, passing the lock token. And, and we'll just basically take that message off the queue because we're doing the peak lock earlier. And then what we'll do after that is we'll um, set our message received property be, to be true so that we can exit the loop. And, um, and then from there, we'll set our response message to be the content that came back on the service bus message. And then after that, we'll, we'll get our response message um, back to Postman. So if we have a quick look here in Postman, you can see um, I've got this all set up to call the logic app. And if I just click send, that's going to go away, send the message, and then within a second or two, we get back a message saying, thanks, the backend system received your message. We can then go and um, have a quick look at our, our runs. So here we'll see the run we've just done. 
we see we received the message, initialized the variables. We sent the message to Q2. And we should have our, our reply to session ID here. As we go back down, you can see we got the messages back. We got one message. And we, we can complete the message, set the properties, etc., etc. Um, and if we have a quick look in the um, the other Logic app, the most recent run here, you can see. So we received our message. We initialized the variable, which was going to be the response message, and then we sent the response message back later. And we set that, you know, basically just flowed that reply to session ID through as the session ID. So we routed it back to the right or uh, sorry, to the right logic app instance. So if we had multiple logic apps running at once, only the one that was listening on that session ID would get the message back. So there we've been able to implement the um, the correlation pattern here using the combination of a logic app plus service bus and uh, hopefully that'll open up some um, powerful patterns with logic apps now